Great food for a great price makes sense no matter what you can afford. If you shop smart and find cheaper cuts to buy, cook clever and waste less, you'll be quids in, I promise you. I've just saved myself a little bit of money just by roasting a whole butternut squash in the oven while it was on anyway. And now I'm going to turn that squash into a beautiful Italian dish that will have you shouting, Mamma Mia! It's my squash and spinach rotolo. OK, the next recipe is absolutely gorgeous. It's a cross between, like, a lasagna and a cannelloni. It's called rotolo, rolled up. It's gorgeous. Beautiful roasted squash. I'll show you that in a minute, with amazing spinach, gorgeous cheese, tomato sauce, blipping away, golden and crispy. You are going to love it, and it's real fun to make. First, prepare your squash. Scoop out the seeds and peel off the skin. But don't chuck them away. You can eat them. Georgie, can we just bake that in the oven? Because yeah. I think that that tossed through a lovely sort of a mixed salad would be fantastic. Yeah, gorgeous. Then mash up the squash, season and boom, job done. That's it, just beautiful, natural, gorgeous squash in all of its simple glory. It's going to be really, really tasty. It's heavenly, absolutely heavenly. The best baby food in the world, minus the salt. Uh, fantastic as a base for a soup. Just a few onions and some basic herbs, you know, uh, liquidise it with some stock. Fantastic. I love those kind of principle recipes. Like, all of you have got to try doing that. Skin off, seeds out, mash it up. Unbelievable. Use it like a mashed potato. Phenomenal. OK, enough of that talking. For the next layer of your pasta filling, the spinach bit, start by chopping one red onion. I've got some olive oil in the pan. I'm going to go in with some onions here. And we'll fry this off. So we start getting some flavour in there. A nice pinch of salt and pepper goes in. Right, give that a nice little toss. Let that start to fry. We're going to make a really dark, delicious, dense spinach. Really, really nice, OK? And for that, there is absolutely no point and no advantage of using fresh spinach, OK? So bear with me. Now, when you're going to cook down spinach uh, into soups, stews, do nice little gratins with cream and parmesan, in this case, we're cooking it down with herbs and onion to go inside uh, this beautiful pasta dish. Uh, when you do that, um, you really kind of cook it hard. So there's no benefit in using fresh spinach, which, by the way, is quite pricey and massive in volume. It really takes up a lot of space. So come over here. I love fresh spinach. I grow it, I buy it, but I also love the frozen stuff. And genuinely, genuinely, it's really useful, and it's just going to give you that nice, dark, deep kind of flavour. Amazing with kind of curries, sort of a Bombay spinach. Beautiful. Um, so I'm going to toss up these onions. As soon as they get soft, I'm going to throw these in. In actual fact, I'm going to throw these in right now. The bonus here is to have that much spinach in a pan, I'd have to buy, like, four bags, right? It's going to be really expensive. Top your spinach off with some nutmeg and leave to cook down slowly for 15 minutes. Look at the colours, the squash and the spinach. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. Next, a super quick and super delicious tomato sauce. Slice up four cloves of garlic and a chilli if you like a bit of a kick. Just chop it up. So this can go in a pan with a little olive oil. And then over here, we're using some passata, 700 mils of passata. It's already kind of been sort of moulied and pureed. So look, as soon as that garlic gets a little bit golden, pour it in. Look at it, just sizzling away. Going to get a bit of water to clean out the jar. Also, these jars are worth keeping. They're great for sort of sauces and preserves, vinegars, stuff like that, if you do any of that sort of stuff. Just mix that in. Really, really nice. Simple, very, very simple tomato sauce. Mix it in. We'll bring that to the boil. Remember, of course, the tomatoes are already cooked. You're just reheating them. So, my friends, it's time to make the Rotolo. I'm using fresh pasta lasagna sheets. If they're a bit stiff, you can just stick them in a bit of boiling water for a few seconds. I'm just doing it for 20 seconds just to stop it from cracking. You know, because I'm going to roll it up. I don't want it busting over the place. You might not have to do it. You make the call. Lay them flat and grab your smashed squash. Now the fun bit. We're going to divide 
the squash between the six pieces of pasta here. So think of uh, each one of these little filled pastas. That it's got to be good. It's a little present, do you know what I mean? The fact that this is beautifully seasoned is up to you. It's totally your responsibility to taste it, season it, uh, and, and love it. There's nothing chefy about this at all. This is kids' play. This is like mud pies when you're a kid. You know, just spread it out. Now, the spinach layer. Look how dark that is. You can hardly see the difference between the spinach and the pan. Just kind of, just shake off around, divide it roughly. So I'm just gonna mix up this spinach. Look at that. To give my dish a lovely cheap punch of extra flavor, I'm gonna crumble over a fine layer of feta cheese. If you wanna be more classically Italian, you could just use ricotta instead. I want about 50 grams of feta. Again, look at the colors. Just sprinkle that across the top. Look at that. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Top it all off with a layer of Parmesan. So look at what we got, guys. We've got these beautiful six bits of pasta. We've got this tomato sauce here. Can you just see it blipping away? Ah, oh, that needs a little bit of salt. But basically, very, very nice. Let me show you the next bit, the most exciting bit. Very simple. I'm just going to roll it up. Just think of this like a savoury Swiss roll. Cut it in half, and then cut each half in half again, into quarters. Look at that. I mean, that's what we're talking about. That's kind of what the story is about. Just those intense, beautiful flavours. White, green, purple. Purple? <laughs> just go with it, purple. So that's what we've got. We're going to plop that into that tomato sauce and just buddy them up next to each other. Ben? Yep. Safety first. Always. Um, I've used frozen spinach here. Yep. Um, if I cook this and add leftovers, could I freeze it again? Yeah, you could do. Probably better to freeze it at this stage now. We've done all the filling. Let it cool down a little bit. Tub it up, put it in the freezer, and then it's a, a really quick meal one night. Right, OK. Tuck your pasta rolls into your dish until they're all squeezed in, snuggled up tight. Finish with a little more grated Parmesan and some fresh sage. Put a little oil on the sage. Toss it in the oil, very important. This way, you're going to take this woody old herb that only gets used for stuffing. We're going to put this on the top of our pasta here and it just transforms the perfume, the flavour, and it kind of cooks like little crisps. Absolutely phenomenal and is unbelievable. Please, please have a go at this. So look, that's all there is to it now. We've had a little bit of fun. It's a cute dish to do. You know, a lasagna is always a pain in the backside. It's always a bit of an assembly. I have to say, I think this is easier. You know, you haven't got the meat ragu to do, uh, you haven't got the white sauce to do, um, but you're getting the same kind of enjoyment and eating quality. Whack that hot Italian mama into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and bake for 40 minutes. When the Rotolo is ready, it's golden and crispy and just makes you long to stick a fork in it. I've done pastas like this before and I call it honeycomb pasta because it kind of just looks like a honeycomb, all cooked into each other. The tomato sauce between all the little gaps. Really, really gorgeous. And don't forget, you've also got those roasted seeds and skin from the squash, which will be amazing in a green salad. Don't think I'm going OTT on the old saving money thing. It's delicious. This Rotolo is incredibly tasty, but also super cheap to make. Mm. Comfort food, something a little different, really good fun to make. Come on! What are you waiting for? Go cook it!